Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Sealed for Good. I'm your host Shandy. Thank you everyone for joining in and looking forward at starting this series where we'll be covering specifically the details of the new AS3740 2021. Before we start, we should note that you must reference the National Construction Code version 2022 and ensure that you are following the right pathway to compliance. There are a lot of changes in this new, new National Construction Code um, and these need to be referencing before you know, using any specific advice that we'll be covering in regards to the standard. So with the release of the new NCC 2022, it's more important than ever to be up to speed with what compliance looks like. And as mentioned before, we are specifically going to look at AS3740 2021, which has been adopted by the NCC. So when you look at AS3740 2010, compared to the new standard AS3740 2021, you will see that the changes are comprehensive and broad, and the most notable inclusions consists of things like basic construction and layout, work scheduling, extra responsibilities on the waterproofer, emphasis on greater diligence in the waterproofing application, greater scrutiny on the application, materials and completed works, broader scope for waterproofing and new requirements for different areas. We'll be exploring these points in greater detail in the coming episodes, so stay tuned for them. AS3740 has always been the prominent point of reference for specifiers and contractors for compliance and continues to have its deemed to satisfy status under the new NCC. Clarity and coherence are vital in the underlying theme of the new standard. Attempting to overcome any confusion by reducing the scope of misunderstanding and interpretation that has plagued our industry for years. Even the layout of the new standard attempts to better define the roles and responsibilities between all concerned parties. From building inception and planning to the selection and installation of the waterproofing systems. From architects and specifiers, interior designers, builders and site supervisors, building inspectors and compliance certifiers, waterproofing contractors and manufacturers. Everyone has their respective parts to play to ensure the compliance and overall performance of the waterproofing system. Clarity of process and the specific requirements for waterproofing is particularly important for such a critical component of the construction process. And unfortunately, this is something that is not revered as it probably should be, considering the ramifications of when the waterproofing applications go wrong. And that's the second major theme of the standard. Reinforcing the checks and balances to mitigate risk improving performance and the general stigma surrounding waterproofing to reinforce its importance in construction. Thanks for joining us today. Drop a like or a comment if you enjoyed the video or if you have any questions. Stay tuned for the next episode of Sealed for Good. Until then, happy waterproofing.